This is Lesson 13b and we're solving simple interest problems. Don't forget there's links in the description to help you, okay? Interest is a fee that we pay for borrowing someone's money or an amount that we earn for putting our money into a savings account or, or an investment. There is simple interest that is based on the time of the loan in years. There's also compound interest. That's a percentage of both the amount of borrowed money and the previously computed interest. So compounded interest keeps building on itself. And the way you find it is by finding the previous interest and then adding interest to that interest. We're not doing that now. We're just doing this simple interest that is just based on time of the loan in years. Okay, we'll get into this later. The formula for finding simple interest is I equals PRT. Remember when they're right next to each other, it means we multiply them. So this means interest, which is the money that you're earning or paying, is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. And that means the, that it's the amount, the loan amount or investment multiplied by the interest rate percentage multiplied by the time in years. Okay? So let me give you some examples. We've expanded our triangle and now we've got interest on top and principal rate and time at the bottom. So if Dave borrowed $3,000 for two years at 12%, how much interest will he pay on this loan? So we know the principal is $3,000, we know the time is two years, and we know the rate is 12%. So the first thing we do is we change this 12% into a decimal. Now you should already know how to do that by now because we've, we've done this, okay? So we change that to a decimal and then we just multiply them together. 3,000 times 0.12 times two. It comes out to $720. We just change the interest rate to a decimal and then multiply the principal times the decimal rate times the years, okay? If the problem says the time is in months, not years, we'll need to use a fraction to represent how many months out of the 12 are needed. If Dave borrowed $3,000 for nine months, so now instead of two years, we've got nine months at 12%. We still do the same thing. We change the 12% into a 0.12, but now this nine months is really nine months out of 12 months, isn't it? It's nine months out of the year. So that's a three out of four when we simplify it. And three fourths is 0.75. Now we multiply it that the months is written as a fraction and then into decimal form. See that? 3,000 times 0.12 times 0.75 is $270. Look at the difference in how much he would save in interest if he paid it off quicker. If it takes him two years, he's gonna pay $720. Wow, that's almost like adding another thousand on, isn't it? But if he paid the whole thing off early, or if the loan was shorter, like nine months, he'd only pay $270 in interest. We change the interest rate to a decimal, we change the time to a fraction of a year, then to a decimal, then we multiply. So because there's 12 months in a year, three months would be three out of 12. It would be one fourth of the year. It would be 0.25. Six months would be six out of the 12. It would be half the year. It would be 0.5, okay? And even if it was seven months, which loans aren't for seven months, but it would be seven out of 12, okay? So loans are usually for years, okay? So you shouldn't have to do this too much, but it may come up. So just know that you have to change the months to a fraction, okay? How much did Dave pay back on that two-year loan? So here we've got the loan was for $3,000 at 12% for two years, and the interest was $720. How much did he pay back completely? Well, the total he had to pay back is the loan amount plus the interest. So it's the $3,000 plus the $720. He borrowed $3,000, but after the two-year loan, he had to have paid back $3,720, see? This one says, find the interest paid on the loan. So now we have a three-year loan of $7,500 at 4.5%. 
Now, we need to change this to a decimal. So remember, we go two hops to the left. We have to add a zero as a placeholder, and we remove the percentage sign. So we have 0 0.045. Now we multiply the 7,500 times 0 0.045 times that three-year loan, and we get $1,012.50. Just remember that this is money we're talking about, okay? So there should be a dollar sign. All right, and if you do this and end up with three digits on this side of the decimal point, this is money, so you need to round it so it's two digits, okay? This one says, find the interest earned on this investment. So $4,000 was invested at 3% interest for six months. The interest, I, equals 4,000 times 0 .03. We remove, we move that decimal point one, two hops, we put a zero as a placeholder, we remove the percentage sign, and we have 0 0.03. And six months is 0.5, it's half of a year. We multiply all of these together and get $60. So this person got $60 for their investment for six months. See? This one says, find the total amount to be paid back on this loan. So there's a car loan for $25,220. So that was the amount of the car and the taxes and you know all the fees and the license plate and everything it came out to $25,220. The loan is at 6% interest for five years. We change this to a decimal by hopping over that decimal point two spaces and putting a zero as a placeholder so we get 0 0.06. We multiply the 25,220 times 0 0.06, and we multiply it by the five years, we find out the interest is $7,566. Wow. $7,500, roughly $7,500 just for the interest? Someone could buy a car for that amount for that interest, couldn't they? So be careful when you're doing this. Make sure you change your decimals, okay, correctly. You want to have the correct amount of hops over and put your zero for the placeholder, okay? Now, it says find the total amount to be paid back. So we take the original amount, the 25000 that was borrowed, we add the interest to it, and we find out that this car loan, this car they purchased for $25,000, is really going to cost them 32786 See? Okay, so now you should be ready to do the next skill focus, and I hope you do well. If you have any problems, just watch this video again. Just remember, two hops to change this percentage to a decimal, okay? And for those of you, this can get really confusing for people. We have interest and we have interest rate. And what's the difference? They, they both say interest. Well, the interest, that green eye, is the dollar amount of the interest. The interest rate is the percentage, okay? So you're going to see interest and interest rate. Just know that that's the amount, that's the percentage, okay? The minute it says rate, it's a percentage, all right? Our next video is solving multi-step percent problems, Lesson 13C. And I'm going to have these links to these helpful videos, the ones from Lesson 12 and this previous one, 13A, and these Grade 7 and Algebra 1 videos that should help you, okay? So, you can try using this triangle, but it's pretty straightforward here. It's just interest equals the principal times the rate times the time, okay? Just make sure you're changing any months into a fraction. Make sure you're changing your percentages to decimals. And double check your work so that you know you got the right answer, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.